Good morning all you guys. Let's see what's going on on the shop out here. Let us check it out and see what's happening. It's a, uh, oh it's chaos. It's complete chaos. <laughs> Maybe it's not. It's not. Anyway, thanks for all you guys who wrote in about little Roscoe. Unfortunately, he didn't make it. Uh, he came home from the vet. Um, they'd kept him on IVs for three days. They came home, like I told you, his kidneys were failing. And I uh, got another week out of him. He lasted a week more and, you know, and it was, um, it was the best 600 bucks I spent. That's it. <laughs> charger. Yes, yes, yes. The charger is up in the air because what I'm working on now for the charger, avoid everything in the background. Stop looking. All you guys are like, what's this in the background? There's the quarter panel. So I'm going to be attempting that today on the charger for that. Um... The 66, yeah, there's so many vehicles around here. 4x4 Chevy. There's the engine sitting. Remember the little 327? It's matted up to the transmission there, sitting there. So now we're going to be getting the, uh, the cab is going on, obviously. So we're taking care of that. Let's see what else is happening. Camaro, you can see over there, the top is kind of up, raised up in the air. Chris is in the midst of bleeding all the hydraulics in it and getting the top working. So uh, once we get the top working, then basically uh, Sean's going to take the car back over and give it its final block block here and uh, prep. And uh, it's going to be uh, off for paint. And that is the color right there as you can see it. It's not the factory color, it's a newer color. Um, yeah, my trailer's hogging up the middle of the, bay, or the, middle of the uh, yard here. Uh, metal roofing. I wonder what that could be going on. Um, I don't know. Anyway, let's just continue to look around here. Uh, yes, what is this? What is this you're probably thinking? I know, I'm going to hear it. All you guys are going to say, what's this, man? You're not old-time garage. Well, when you have a customer that brings you builds and spends anywhere from sixty dollars to $80,000 and continues to keep bringing you work, when his newer truck needs the fenders replaced on a box side, you do not say no. That's just called good customer relations. That's what that is. So we put Bruce on this because Bruce is the man. Bruce here takes care of what needs to be done. Now you can see brand new box side. Yeah. So we let Bruce do it because he worked in an ICBC, which if some of you guys don't know what I mean, that's our insurance companies up here. They're, he worked in an ICBC shop where they do collision work and all that on the newer vehicles. So he's used to this kind of stuff. Where me, fuck no. No, no. But... That's it. So he's on to that. Yes, we got gas pumps here. We got parts everywhere. Parts everywhere. That's an old water cooler. That's actually mine from way back in the day. Going to paint that a nice Wimbledon white because I got some leftover Wimbledon white here and throw it out as a, as a display in my yard. Okay, let's get going inside here and see what's going on. So the 63 Chevy pickup. There's the box and guide coat. What's going to happen is the inside is in final primer. The outside is going to get a block and then it gets reprimered. Sean here has given the body its first coat of primer. And then it gets a block and then it gets a reprimer, then a block again, then for paint. So it's, it's really coming along quite quick. Um, we've got two doors and a hood that still need some work to be done. They are down uh, getting blasted right now. The one door and the one hood are getting blasted. The other door is sitting outside the bay here because I still got rust repair. But other than that, I've done all the rust repair on this truck. If you guys remember, it was all rotten across up in here. It's all taken care of. Remember, I, re I did, the, I did the, the cab corners and the rockers. Remember, this is all new. So, she's coming along good. So, there's a little update. There's the front fenders for that truck. The 63 sitting behind me here. These are newer reproduction fenders. So, that's it. It is a short box fleet side. And, uh, you guys, I don't think you guys saw this one. This is a 72 GMC. It came in because it had been hit along the side. Someone had driven along it and hit it while it was parked. And the gentleman went to ICBC and said, hey, I want Rick at Old Time Garage to fix this. They said, that's not a problem. You just have to pay him. And then when the vehicle's done, you bring it in. We look at it and then we give you your money back that you paid him. So we've already done it now. It's not, you know, you can tell it's all finished. Except we, you can see see the one piece of chrome right over there. 
Well, you can see I still got to put the chrome on there and I got to put the door mirror on. Other than that, it is done. But I'm waiting on the chrome. So it kind of holds you up a little bit. So that's what's going on. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's basically it for this little update. We've got much more to show you around the shop. I'm sure you guys are looking around and you're seeing stuff in the background. You're like, what about this? What about that? Well, we're going to save that for next time. So, uh oh, there's the big guy, Bondo. He's out there barking. I'm glad he's out there barking. He's been very upset lately because of Roscoe. So that's a good sign. He lived with him for 12 years. He lived with him. Roscoe was 14 and a half. Bondo came along after. Roscoe was here first for two and a half years. Then Bondo came along. And of course Bondo, well, he grew up with Roscoe. And he's very depressed. He cries and moans all day. And now, right, Bondo? What do you got to say to the camera today? Have you got anything to say today? Oh, and you can see when we're not building cars and playing with cars, do you see my deck? I'm building like a mid-century deck. See how the railing is cantilevered? And see on the other side, I don't know if you can see this, see how it's got all the little boxes? Now what's going to happen is we're going to build a lower deck off of that. That's why you see that big hole there, up in there. That's where the stairs are going to go. Big, huge lower deck going on. Have you got anything to say to the YouTubers before we leave today, Bondo? Nothing to say? Should they buy a t-shirt? What do you say? No, just all depressed today, are you? Are you happy a second ago? Anyway, okay, Bondo. It's always a good time at old time. Isn't that right, big boy? It's always a good time at old time? You can say it. What do you say? Oh, come on, get it out. <coughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys, hey, thanks for subscribing. Hang on a second here. Oh camera's going wonky here thanks for subscribing guys thanks for buying the t-shirts remember we got lots of t-shirts and decals left it's always a good time at all time we're going to get some more videos up here we got lots to show you if you pay close attention to this video there is tons of new shit sitting in the background so get on it okay we'll see you next week